Hi friends. Good morning. I hope you can see what I have in front of me this morning. I have a trophy. And I'll get it a little bit closer. Maybe you can see it's a baseball player. So it's a trophy with a baseball player on top. And then I have one with a basketball player on top. And then I have another one that has a soccer ball on top. Well, there are many other sports, football, um, uh, hockey, lots of sports that we can think about. And probably you have a favorite sport that you might like to watch. One of our sons played a lot of baseball, so I feel like I have seen hundreds of baseball games in my time. And if I were a coach and looking for a good baseball player, I think I would look for somebody that could throw the ball, hit the ball, um, pick up a ball that was, or catch a ball when it was hit to that person. In the, in the field or on a base. Also somebody that could run well. Some of those are some traits that if I were a coach, I would be looking for. Well, you know, not all of us can play baseball. Not all of us are athletic. But I bet we have all been out on the playground or playing with friends and we were chosen for a team. And so those that may have appeared more athletic and are more athletic, they might have been chosen first. And for those of us who may not be as athletic, we might be left to the last. And that's not a very good feeling, is it? Well, I want to tell you the, today about a story from the Old Testament because it reminds us to not look at people from the outside, but to look at their heart. And so the story I want to tell you this morning is from 1 Samuel chapter 16. Samuel was a prophet, and one day God told Samuel, we need a new king for Israel, and I want you, Samuel, to go to, the, to Bethlehem, to the house of Jesse. Jesse has a lot of sons, and I want you to go and find the new king of Israel from Jesse's house. So following the Lord, Samuel went to Jesse's house. Now, according to the story, Jesse had seven sons inside the house. So one by one, the sons came through and Samuel looked at each son. Son number one, he said no. Son number two, nope, not it. He was big, he looked strong, but God was telling Samuel he's still not it. Third son, same thing. Fourth, fifth, sixth, and the seventh son. And Samuel didn't pick any of them for the king. So then he looked at the dad, Jesse, and said, God's telling me none of these young men are to be the new king of Israel. Do you have anybody else? And so Jesse said, well, I do have one more son, but he's the youngest one. He's still a boy. He's out herding my sheep. And Samuel said, I want to see him. So Jesse sent somebody to the field and David, his son David, came in. He was the youngest. He was the smallest. He was not the strongest. But you know what? God told Samuel, that's the one. He is going to be the next king of Israel. And right then, 
Samuel anointed the boy David as the king of Israel. And I think what we can learn from this story this morning found in the Bible is we look at people from the outside and God looks at people inside in their heart. And you and I are challenged to look at people differently, to look at their heart, the kind things they say and do, and not based on their outward appearances. And my question for myself as well as you is how am I working on my heart? Let us pray. Lord, we thank you for our time this morning to talk about what it means to look at people through your eyes, to look at people at their hearts and not from the outside. We pray that you would help us think about how we can love others the way that you love us. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. Thanks, friends. I hope to see you in church very soon.